here let us solve problems based on angle side angle congruence criterion now the question goes like this in the given figure the diagonal ac of a quadrilateral a b c d bisects the angles a and c prove that ab equals ad and cb equals cd a quadrilateral is nothing but a geometrical closed figure with four sides now very important here since diagonal ac bisects the angle a and angle c therefore we have angle bac equal to angle dac and angle bca equal to angle bca in triangles abc and adc we have angle BAC equals angle DAC which is given angle BAC equals angle DAC you can see that the angles are marked by just single lines that means these are equal and here you can see that the angles are marked by a double line that means they are equal angle BCA equals angle DCA which is also given and AC equals AC that is because it is common and so by ASA criterion that is nothing but we've got two angles that is if you consider the two triangles ABC and ADC we've got two angles that are equal to each other and one side which exactly falls under angle side angle congruence criterion so therefore, by ASA congruence criterion, we have triangle BAC congruent to triangle DAC. And therefore, we have BA equal to DA and CB equal to CD. If you can prove that two triangles are congruent to each other, as we've discussed this before, every other corresponding parts of the triangle are also equal so therefore ba which is also same as ab is equal to ad and cb equals cd let us try and solve another problem now here the question goes like this ab is a line segment ax and by are two equal line segments drawn on opposite sides of line ab such that ax is parallel to by now, if AB and XY intersect each other at P, we need to prove that triangle APX is congruent to triangle BPY and AB and XY bisect each other. Now, let us first form the figure here. Okay, AB is a line segment. So, here we go. AB is a line segment. Next is what? AX and BY are two equal line segments drawn on opposite sides of line AB. So here it is. Let me draw AX and let me draw BY. Here is AX and here is BY. Such that AX is parallel to BY. If you extend these lines, they are never going to meet each other. So they are going to be parallel. Now, if AB and XY intersect each other at P, prove that triangle APX, now here we get a triangle because of this intersection. And we have another triangle BPY. We need to prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So, let us first get down to that. Since AX and BY are parallel lines and transversal AB, these two are parallel to each other say i mean you need to maybe have an imaginary extension of this say something like this we have two parallel lines here and then a b obviously intersects these two lines and therefore it becomes a transversal it intersects them at a and b now therefore we have 
angle BAX equal to angle ABY. And why is that? Because they are alternate angles. Now, similarly, we have angle AXY equal to angle BYX. Now, why is that? Angle AXY equals to angle BYX. Now, this is because transversal XY. Now, two parallel lines or two lines can have an n number of transversals. So, apart from having AB as a transversal, now if you extend these parallel lines on either sides, we have another transversal intersecting at X and Y. That is, XY is a transversal. Transversal XY intersects parallel lines AX and BY at X and Y respectively. So this is another important reason here. That's why we have angle AXY equals angle BYX because they are alternate angles. So thus in triangles PAX and PBY, we have angle PAX equal to angle PBY which is given and we have angle AXP equal to angle BPY. Now this is because it is given. And then we have AX equal to BY, which is also given because AX and BY are the two equal line segments drawn. So now by ASA congruence criterion, that is two angles are equal and one side is equal. We can prove that triangle APX is congruent to triangle BPY. And therefore, since we prove that these two triangles are congruent, you can easily say that. Now we can also say that. AP equals BP and PX equals PY because they are parts of the triangles that are congruent to each other. So hence triangle APX is congruent to triangle BPY and also AB and XY bisect each other because we just prove that this is equal to this and this is equal to this. So the trick in these kind of problems is to always prove that two triangles are congruent to each other by using one of the many criterions that are available. And once you prove that, you can prove pretty much everything else.